Good morning, friends. My inspiration for this PJ set was this adorable single yard of heart fabric that I found at my local thrift shop. I think PJ sets are just the cutest thing ever, and I wanted to show you how I made this one. I'm patterning from this PJ set that I already have, and yes, this is truly me just after I woke up. <laughs> I'll be using this PJ set, but altering it slightly making it short sleeved and I'll be doing shorts instead of pants and also taking in a couple inches at the side seams and the bottom shirt hem. So to start out with pattern or craft paper, I'm simply tracing around all the different parts of this PJ set, starting with the collar here. I'm also marking on the pieces that I draw what edges need to be folded and how many of that piece I need to cut out of my fabric. After taking in two inches from each side, I can then trace the front pieces, also making the armhole a bit smaller. Then I'm tracing the front placket and the sleeve, which I actually did completely wrong, so I'll just skip over this. And I promise I'll be uploading a video soon where I do a sleeve completely correctly, and I'll show you how to do that. Then I'm tracing the back, first folding it in half. And then the pants after that, making them shorter, of course, for the shorts. And then lastly, I'm cutting out a little cuff piece for the ends of the sleeves. Once I jigsawed and cut all of my pattern pieces out of my one yard of fabric, I started on the top. I'm first sewing right sides together, down the side seams and the shoulder seams. Then I pinned on and sewed on my sleeves. After that was done, I took a cuff piece, pressed down each raw edge with my iron, and then pinned it to the end of my sleeve, sandwiching a piece of red ribbon in between to act as piping. After that, I hemmed the end of the sleeve and sewed the sleeve together to close it up. Again, I promise I'll show you how to do a sleeve correctly in the future. This was definitely a learning experience for me. Now I'm going to sew on my placket with piping on the edges. I had to cut out two different pieces for the inner layer because of all of the jigsawing I had to do with my fabric and pattern pieces. So I'm just simply stitching those two together like this before I get started. I'm taking more of that ribbon and sandwiching it between the two layers which are right sides together, and carefully stitching that down all the way to the bottom. Then when I turn that right side out and press it down with my iron, you'll see that nice piping right on the edge. And then to finish it off, I surged that inside raw edge, folded it under, and stitched it down. For the collar, I needed a tad more fabric, so I used a similar white cotton I had laying around. With right sides together, I'm adding more piping just around the top edge. I'm then pinning the underside of that collar on here But with the front two ends, I'm folding them under in order to keep that piping showing underneath nicely. And then I stitched ribbon on top of that raw edge seam to hide it. Now for these adorable buttons. I'll be using four and placing them evenly on and stitching each and then creating red buttonholes with my machine. To make this PJ set even more adorable, I added some red frilly trim to the bottom, just simply stitching that to the underside of the top. And to finish it off, I'm adding a little breast pocket which I made from some scraps I had left over. 
Now for the shorts, they're super easy. I'm taking the back two pieces, placing them right sides together, then sewing along that rise, and then doing the same for the front pieces. Then I can open them up and with right sides together, stitch together the inseam and side seams. And then I can serge all of those inside raw edges to finish it off super nicely. And then for the waistband, it's going to be an elastic one with a faux tie at the front. So to do this, I'm first making two buttonholes at the front, pulling my ties through slightly, then stitching them to the top inside like this. So they'll lay flat when I fold this hem over to make the tube for my elastic to slide through. After that tube is stitched down, with a little opening, I'm pulling my elastic through with a safety pin. And then stitching that opening closed. And to finish off the shorts, I'm lastly adding that ribbon trim to the bottom hems. I can attest, it turned out super cozy. But what do you think? I haven't been around lately. I've just been really trying to figure out a lot of things behind the scenes, the direction I want my channel to go in, just other big things. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I promise I will be back as soon as I can. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.